EFG RMS saying that the EM inflows are going to help some of the large caps in Saudi. What are we seeing first three trading sessions? Well, we're seeing green all across the board for Saudi stocks, Yusuf. After uh, a big rally last year, and we're seeing it in a bull market, now it's extending gains up 0.7% uh, in the last session. It's going to be interesting to see whether that continues with Brent having pulled back after the close. Uh, the reality is that the Saudi economy is still largely reliant on oil, but there are very long-term growth prospects for the kingdom, and that has really been propelling uh, foreign flows, as you've been mentioning into uh, Saudi stocks. So uh, curious to see whether the interest rate story, which has been really boosting the index, is going to continue to do a lot of the heavy lifting or the sentiment from oil is going to start uh, pulling back with the RSI level being in the overbought uh, side. Farah, we're also uh, watching this announcement that came on Tuesday about the UAE's largest company that created a $27 billion firm. Uh, can you walk us through the details of this and what exactly stands out to you? Well, Jan, th this was quite interesting. IHC um, is, has basically folded a few different companies under this new firm called 2.0. So that includes Lunate, which has $400 billion in assets under management, uh, Chimera Investments, also um, Egypt's Beltone Financial. So a lot of companies there, and they're spanning very different sectors, financials, mining, cryptocurrency. Uh, and again, and that's a $27 billion firm, so that's not really small. Um, and it's curious to see where um, they will start doing more deals. And they're really focusing on the AI element of it all, which is uh, one of Sheikh Tahnoun's uh, big areas of focus, really, across his companies. Yeah, we have an open invitation to the CEO, of course, to join us uh, on Bloomberg. He has yet to respond mm -hmm. to any of it. What about uh, the, ter the, the impact of Middle East tensions on stocks outside of the region? I want to focus on that a little bit. Absolutely. So yesterday, if you could see the first uh, session for European stocks when they started trading, Yusuf, it was a bit of a cautious one. Um, well, the stock 600 was flat, but really it was value stocks that were rallying. And if we look even deeper, defensive, uh, sorry, um, defense stocks, rather, shipping stocks uh, such as Maersk, uh, as well as oil stocks were all rallying, even though crude had sunk by the towards the close of the European session. Um, so there is clearly a play here for from European investor jumping, investors jumping on these uh, stocks that are exposed to the Middle Eastern tensions, and uh, especially the shipping stocks have seen a really big rally in recent weeks um, on expectations that they will have to keep their rates high as their ships have to divert away from the Red Sea.